Welcome back. It was September 2014 when 43 student teachers went missing from southern Mexico following a clash with police. They vanished from a town called Iguala, less than 200 kilometers from Mexico City. Both the town's mayor and his wife were arrested. The case has ignited international outrage and was even addressed recently by U.S. President Barack Obama when he met with Mexico's President Enrique Peña Nieto at the White House. The missing students have become a symbol of a larger systemic problem in Mexico. Joining us now to discuss this topic is Jose Miguel Vivanco. He is the director of the Americas Division at Human Rights Watch here in Washington, D.C. Jose, welcome to the show. What does the missing student incident tell us about the human rights situation in Mexico right now? Mexico is going through a very, very serious crisis on human rights. Uh, it's become a country very violent with tremendous level of uh, impunity, corruption. The links between uh, local police and uh, organized crime, narco traffickers, um, are pretty close. And, uh, and this is a problem that is present in many, many Mexican states across the country. Uh, the violence, corruption, and the impunity for abuses committed by security forces as well as abuses committed by organized crime. Well, you've had some harsh words in the past for President Enrique Peña Nieto, and talking about impunity, you had said that impunity is the rule. So can you explain what you mean by that? Unfortunately, it's really, really hard to find in Mexico presence of uh, judicial investigations, successful investigations, prosecution and punishment of uh, abuses, atrocities. Even the most serious atrocities are never properly investigated in Mexico. Uh, we were hoping that President Peña Nieto uh, will uh, invest on security, human rights, and accountability for uh, human rights abuses as well as corruption. But unfortunately, uh, the current government has not been paying attention and they address these issues with a sort of cosmetic approach, looking for quick solutions, normally improvisation, to address a crisis, but without really uh, investing on, uh, for instance, judicial investigations. But because that case got a lot of attention during that recent trip here in Washington, do you think the government will change that? It keeps following the administration wherever it goes. Interestingly enough, the issue of human rights and violence and corruption and impunity in Mexico was not part of the agenda, uh, was explicitly excluded from the agenda of conversations between uh, Mexico and the U.S. So uh, we created some noise in Washington. I sent a letter to President Obama uh, explicitly asking him to, to put this subject on the agenda. And the good news is that the president finally, openly, publicly, uh, I would say this is, was probably the first time that President Obama uh, mentioned a concrete human rights problem in Mexico, which is the, the case of the 43 disappearances, the students. Uh, and I know for sure that privately, between Mexico and the US, this was an issue that was discussed. Unfortunately, the relationship between uh, the government of Mexico and the US involves so many other issues and it's so, uh, it's so delicate, that relationship. And probably for the administration of President Obama, the highest priority is to get some serious cooperation from the Mexican government to deal with uh, immigration issues. My sense is that the Obama administration doesn't like to uh, damage that relationship and that working relationship with the Mexican government and uh, decided to um, uh, not to make the human rights issue uh, a central part of the, of the, of the, of the bilateral uh, diplomatic relationship with Mexico. What do you think really happened that day in Iguala? Do you think this case will ever be solved? Do you think it will ever get the attention of the Mexican government? What will it take? Well, it's going to be very difficult to, to get to the bottom of this. We are waiting for information that is going to be produced by a forensic um, lab in Austria that uh, hopefully will let us know, we'll, we will learn whether those bones and ashes that were found in a town in Mexico, uh, specifically in a river, 
belongs to the students or some of the students who were disappeared. But there, there is a tremendous degree of lack of uh, confidence, lack of trust in Mexico by civil society as well as the victims. Uh, the Mexican government has requested the uh, intervention of an international entity called the Inter-American Human Rights Commission of the Organization of American States. Uh, and looks like the commission is going to visit Mexico soon and uh, with international experts to look at into the facts of the case. Hopefully that will allow us and help us to understand better what happened there. All right. Jose Miguel Vivanco, thank you so much for joining us here on America's Now. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. America's Now.